right? We were just looking at no way to physically resist them. And I hope that you understand that we're, what we have before us is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle, okay? These beings are not going to look monstrous. Now, there will be creations that they have created that will look physically very different. Okay, and this is where we get some of these creature forms of aliens from, okay? But the true beings that will come, that will represent themselves as our creator gods, will be humanoid, okay, absolutely. And they will be beautiful, and they will be highly intelligent, and they will be poetic, and they will be everything that you have never seen in character possessed by any human on this world they will be of a high spiritual character and that is one of the reasons why so many people will fall to them because they will be so well poised so under control and so brilliant and they will seem so just caring and loving but in reality they're very dark and they seek to deceive you and they're going to put on a very very big show so wake up to this fact and be prepared be prepared and just look a little deeper look a little further if you don't really know jesus christ now might be the time to start thinking about it a little deeper my friends just a little deeper so number six no way to physically resist them job gives us the comparison quite well and job is connected to both the locust and the antichrist so as we can see that the locust are empowered with the power of the antichrist so they're going to represent this same physical ability that the antichrist himself will have but of course he's going to be much more stronger but the point is there's not going to be people physically warring against them okay remember our world is going to welcome them it's going to be these fringe and border fanatics and groups that might challenge them physically and when that happens, of course, we'll, we will see that you know, they cannot be challenged physically, only spiritually. You will not defeat them with no, no shotguns or, or bombs or, or just waiting it out in some hole somewhere out in a mountain. It's, you're not going to defeat them like that. You're going to defeat them through the power of the Spirit. You're going to defeat them with the power of faith. You are going to not defeat them physically, my friends. Some of us will have to lay down our lives for that. No big deal. Life is eternal. Life is eternal. If I lay my life down, I pick it up again. And you must believe that. You must be that simple about it. You must be that matter of fact about it because that's how it is. If you have faith, you have faith. Okay? So faith will pull us through. They will be shown in the end. Now, not everybody is going to be taken down physically. I imagine that there will be many, many, many people that escape their grasp and their physical control. And that will be some of these groups that will be preaching and ministering to the people that need it in this time. Okay, So we find here, number seven, that they're going to be ultimately destroyed by the living waters. Now, I guarantee you that Steven Spielberg himself had no idea what his movie was portraying. He had no idea because he has never looked into the truth of Jesus Christ and found the validity in the fact that his word is the living waters. They have rejected him. They've not looked deep enough. So in the end, the father himself has provided the way of truth within this man's own thinking. Within his own creation of this movie, the father's truth is still going to stand and it's still going to be seen. It says that this truth shall be revealed even to the babe and the suckling. Now that's a verse in the Bible. I don't know if it's exactly like that, but it means that the truth will be simple enough for a child to understand. And this movie is a prime example of it. It gives us many, many details, but the child might not necessarily see all the details. He's going to see the totalic whole. And when they look at the totalic whole, they're going to understand that these aliens are going to be just simply beat with water. Simply beat with water. That water, as we know of, is the living word of God. In that place I beheld a fountain of righteousness, which never failed, encircling by many springs of wisdom. Of these all the thirsty drank, and were filled with wisdom, having their habitation with the righteous, the elect, the holy. We will defeat them with the word, the living word of Jesus Christ. I'll be back.